Camilla Cardoso and Rita Igbakwe to get us rolling inside the Carrier Dome on a Thursday night. Each team needing a win in the ACC standings in the orange. Have it first in the home lights. Cardoso, the reigning ACC freshman of the week, is the big one to watch inside. She sets an early screen here to free up Priscilla Williams for two. No question about it, better in pretty much every category you can possibly measure. It's about that experience. Pitt is just such a young team. On her jumper, which she felt like she needed to improve upon, and on Sunday that came to fruition. Priscilla Williams and finds the answer early on. The Cuse up 8-0 early. Tiana Mungakahia for three. She didn't hesitate. Syracuse staple, getting more room for the guard to operate up top. And when the shot's open, Tiana delivers. That's a big time curtain for a five foot six guard as Pittsburgh. The one Coach White highlighted as really stellar on that end of the floor. Testing Anxler, who finishes over the top. A run for them. They're about to play five in 12. Pittsburgh hasn't been home in a number of days as well. Played in Clemson, flew up yesterday. And Maeva Jaldi Tabi, welcome to the game. Jumper to force overtime right before that steal. And she's put Syracuse up 15 over the first four minutes. In this game, they're going to need a lot of this. Shooting it much better this year from three. Absolutely, 33 points. When you can get those extra points, that means so much. Many people who watch the Syracuse team all year know what happens when they can't make those threes. Welcome back to Leah Washington. We get to see the lineup of Williams, Washington, and Mungakahi, a relatively rare one. And a nice dump off there from Williams to Cardoso for two. It's the ACC Freshman of the Week, Camilla Cardoso. It has in invited speed in this game, and that time it works out for him. Two for Amber Brown. Tallest player on the floor by a country mile. Matched up here with Igbakwe and got a tip down. Everett on a no-looker. Pittsburgh has been at its best when it's done this. Worked it inside like that to Jayla Everett. See Everett, number 20 in blue, not getting back for Camilla Cardoso to beat everybody down the floor. All 11, they'll play 10, 11 players. Amy Hayford, four in blue, someone to watch out for. She'll control as easy block Camilla Cardoso again. Under 30 to go here in the first quarter. And a take to the rim for Pittsburgh. That is a big answer. This deficit for Pittsburgh, to your point, could be a lot larger. They weathered an early storm, and now looking to bring that here into the second quarter, and an early nice start. Early runs really can set the tempo for an entire game. Go back a month, Syracuse playing at North Carolina. Tar Heels start on an 11 to nothing run. Fantastic on the glass. Amber Brown got Anxler in the air, and then Anxler denied her to force a shot clock violation. To go transferred in. This has been a big year for her. She called 2020 the hardest year of her life. Hard year for a lot of people. And Struther hits the three. People in this Pittsburgh program, that's been part of the rebuild too. The players believing that it's coming. And it has been as Talia Washington finds the bank. Roughly four and a half minute scoreless streak for Syracuse. And defended well in the meantime. Maeva Jaldi Tabdi. Double screen for Lewis. They've done that all afternoon on Sunday and then tonight. And Amaya Finkley for two. Under a minute here in the first and wide open. Tracy Houston had an ocean of space. Dacianette Harris with eight. Slices inside. Harris to the rim for two. You have to think it's going to have to be in the hands of Dacianette Harris and Jayla Everett. Right now with Harris. And she beats everyone right to the punch for two for Pittsburgh. Finding that that quick approach wasn't working for them. They needed to go back to something else. Harris used all the shot clock and made it with four to go. And Quentin Hillsman needs timeout. To get big down low, box out, and get those clutch boards. Hexler's on the floor here, 21 in white. And Dacianette Harris again. 
Orange as a team, eight of 16 from the line. And Pittsburgh down the floor, Angsler! Goes to Jayla Everett, who's out of the game. Let's see if Lewis tries to take advantage. Jaldi Tabi off the screen and roll. She'll take the three off the hesitation, and she'll stick the three! One for eight from the field. She's missed all six of her tries from deep. Amy Hayford makes up for it. Lewis off the bounce. Now she attacks and had it swatted out of bounds by Rita Igbakwe. Mungakahia head up. Mungakahia down the lane. Mungakahia flip up. Miss Jodi Tabi with the answer. Foul trouble to speak of on either side. Cynthia Azaza for Pittsburgh has three. She's the only player with three. Harris over the top of Jodi Tabi. Only two players in double figures. And Harris now over 500 career points. Digna Stroutman hits her first field goal. Harris quick the other way. To the corner, a three, and Struther knocks it down. Pittsburgh's within seven. What was more, Syracuse running up the score. Every single Orange player that has taken the floor tonight has a point. Jolzy Tabby answers right back from three. Seven seconds to shoot here for the Panthers. Harris on the drive, over the top of Cardoso, and she finishes, twisting inside for Dejanet. So now it's Brown out top. Back inside to her, Brown from just inside the line. Amber Brown, it's a two-point game of the Dome. Neither team has scored in more than a minute and a half. Pittsburgh more than two. Jaldi Tabdi, can she do it again? Yes, she can! Jaldi Tabdi in the middle of it, now it's Pittsburgh's turn to run. Gabby Green in the lane, got the flyby, missed it strong, Igbakwe, and one! A stamp of her foot and a seven-point game. She's trying to close out an eighth win, a fifth in the ACC. Pittsburgh is stormed back off another SU turnover. Quick to Everett. She takes the shot, and she makes the shot. Jeanette Harris still sitting there with 12 points. I don't wonder what impact she'll make down the stretch, especially since she's off the floor right now. Lewis got eaten up by Igbakwe to take us to a break. Boy, Panthers looking for their first two-game ACC win streak since the 2016-17 season. And Camilla Cardoso makes this a seven-point game over the top of everybody. Yeah, that's just the advantage having someone six foot seven could bring. You could just toss it over the top. Stripped ahead. Here's Williams to the rim. She lays it in. Hughes trail big at halftime, stormed back to force overtime against Clemson on Sunday, and then ran out of gas. Trying not to do that here, and Emily Engsler makes sure that's not happening today. The double-double machine, again, that is Emily Engsler off the bench averaging those numbers. They're letting Lewis handle it. Williams found herself open, and Williams puts it in. They can slow it down once again. Maybe not. Lewis for three! And you think about what this means for the rest of this season. There were probably a lot of people who were really questioning where Syracuse stood. Falling out of the rankings. Managed to call all the way back and send it to OT. And I think writers will recognize this is the Syracuse team that's real. And maybe not from the first half of that game in Death Valley. She holds and she'll celebrate with the Orange up 20 points. There's a 13 second differential, so somebody's gonna have to put it up. It's Angsler. Why not? Pittsburgh with four. Late jumper from Struther misses, and that's it.